please welcome Ali Velshi, CNN chief business correspondent and author of Give Me My Money Back, Your Guide to Beating the Financial Crisis. And he can be seen on CNN Saturdays at 1 p.m., Sundays at 3 p.m., co-hosting CNN's Your Money. But he can also be seen all over CNN, filling in and answering questions. And, Ali, I chase you around the dial, sir. Thank you for being here today. Hey, Montel, it's my honor to be here. Congratulations on this show. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think you're going to do a great service for America. And you know what? And, sir, just like you helped explain things to me, I had a question for you. Look, right this minute, this morning, the jobless rate hits was the new Unemployment claims are 654,000, yet people are saying, man, that's good news. And I want to make sure that my listeners know that right now almost 6 million people are receiving unemployment benefits, setting a record for 11 straight weeks. And this is the most people on record since we started keeping track back in 1976, 1967, yet this is good news. Allie, please explain that. So why is this good news, sir? Well, I'll tell you. Not only are 6 million people uh, getting unemployment checks, there are more than that number, probably a total of another 7 or or 8 million people who are not getting unemployment checks but who are unemployed. They've run out of their benefits. So we're definitely well into 12 or 13 million officially unemployed people in this country, many millions more who are underemployed. They don't get benefits or they're getting part-time work, something like that. The reason this is good news is because we look at trends, and the trend is softening up a little bit. It's not more every week. Now, there's nothing good about the fact that more than half a million people lined up or called their unemployment insurance office for the first time last week. But the bottom line is all we can hope for these days are trends that say things are getting a little better, and that is one of the trends that we've seen. There are others. People are saving a little more. Uh, we, we, we know that the stock market's been behaving a little better. We know that more people are buying homes. So there are a bunch of things happening that are sell- telling us maybe, maybe we're coming to the bottom of this recession. Do you know something that I tell you, that I really the reason why I kind of seek you out for my financial opinions is because, see, uh, even uh, this is a year and a half ago, I'm, I'm watching you because I used to like to argue with you. See, I, I'm, I'm the guy, you don't hear me, but I'm the one arguing with you that you turn right around in the next sentence and explain what it is I'm arguing with you about. So let me ask you a question. We're, in, in our next segment of the show, we're going to be talking about all these isms, all these claims that, you know, uh, this administration and all of its policies are heading us towards the land of isms, you know, socialism, yep. communism, ism, isms. And um, but we really take a hard look. Almost everything that he's tried to put into place and even the sentiment around it seems to be sparking this trend, which is down in unemployment, but up in the overall economic picture. Am I wrong or am I right when I, I think that? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's actually happening. Uh, how much you can ascribe to the president, how much you can ascribe to the fact that a recession sort of take an amount of time and then start to burn themselves out, we're not sure yet. There are some things this administration has done very specifically that are helping people. There are some things that uh, will take some time. So one of the biggest deals is that mortgage uh, interest prices have come down. Uh, we have the lowest mortgage rates in a long time. That's causing people to buy homes. But, you know, you'd think that if people were buying, prices would go up, but they're not. Why? Because there are so many homes in foreclosure right now that people are buying those foreclosures and buying those discounts. The the biggest thing that this administration can do right now is figure out how we get people back to work. We started this recession at about 4.9% unemployment. We're at 8.5% right now, and we could go higher. Ali, I'm not at liberty to say who the company is offline. You call me sometimes, I'll tell you what's been happening in my world, but you know, I was unemployed for a year and a half, and I'm an entrepreneur, so I have yep. several companies that I have started. About two years ago, I approached several banks with some proposals about, you know, a, a project of some things that I'm working on that really show an extreme opportunity to, you know, make and pay dividends down the road. Well, a year and a half ago, two years ago, a year and a half ago, I was told, well, Montel, you know, it's okay, but, you know, son, I'm sorry. We don't lend $5 million. We don't lend $10 million. We lend 50 We lend 60 So I, I didn't have a big enough plan. Now, guess what? In the last week and a half, I've heard back from representatives of, of a couple of those banks who've said, you know, we want to really take another look at your proposal because we've now been given grants to help stimulate the economy, and we think that what you're trying to do could stimulate the economy right. and bring on some jobs. And so I want to say that, you know, personally, I'm starting to see a trickle down. I got, I'm looking forward to these meetings next week because hopefully, you know, I'll be able to announce something. Do yeah, you think that there are a lot of other businesses like me, small business owners like owners like me that are getting those same messages? Yeah, well, there, that 
that's that's where it's going to have to come. And there were some moves made by the administration about four weeks ago, which would <clears throat> which would make money a little bit more available to smaller businesses. You know, that this is where we're going to count on for job growth, right? If people if people can invest one to ten million dollars. In small businesses, that's the best chance we've got of creating new jobs. So this is really, really crucial that that's happening. And that has been – I'm glad you point that out because that's been one direct effect of some changes that this administration has made. It's supposed to make it easier for small businesses to get loans. Ultimately, small businesses are still struggling because there's an overall uh, freeze of credit. Banks just aren't lending as much, so you can't get that car loan easily. But, but you I, can't get some things, but, but that's, that's got to free, free up as well. Allie, are we in a recession or were we really? Are we in a depression? I think recession no, is probably. We're in a recession. We're in a recession that happens to be deeper than we've expected them to be, and it happens to be going on longer uh, than we've expected it to be. But it still remains a recession. Look, there's no official uh, meaning for the word depression, but we're not uh, we're not yet at the point that we're seeing the mass unemployment, the mass uh, factory closures, uh, the mass bank closures that we saw during the Great Depression. And there are reasons why I think we're not going to get there, and one of them is that Americans are remarkably resilient and adaptable. And what we're seeing right now, the reason you asked me in the beginning why why some people are saying they're good signs, because we're over the shock. We get it. We get this is a bad economy. We went through many months on the old administration with them saying the economy is fundamentally sound until the bottom fell out of it in September or October. Now we started with this administration with them really talking the economy down to the point that people were asking President Obama to be a little more cheerful about it. I think everybody gets it now. I think we get how serious it is. And we're in the mode that Americans are best in. We're backed into a corner, and we're talking about how we're going to fix this, what we're going to do to improve our own lives, our own savings, our own debt situation, our own home situation, and our own jobs and training. And that's where it starts to get exciting, because that's where new possibilities are built. And by the way, Montel, that's where a lot of new businesses are born. Montel Across America.